A couple other interesting technical features here, Marshall, that are, are new. Here on the, the, the refueling refiller, we see we have a little uh, micro switch here. This is activated by when the fueler is plugged on. This allows the driver to pre-select a start function and the engine to start basically when the, when the fuel probe is released. This is something that's new that we've been working on. It saves time in pit stops and it really helps the driver be absolutely ready because he can be two hands on the wheel and ready to go and when the fueler pulls off, the start function activates. The driver still launches the car, still has to release the car. The car still has to drive away with, with him under control, but it does give him a little bit of aid getting the engine running quickly. Another thing here is mandated by the ACO now is these lifting points in the monocoque. You'll see that on all the prototypes and so forth. This allows the marshals to be able to put a trapeze here and attach it to, with two pit pins to the car and actually lift the car from one point and to move it out of the way or deal with it if there's some kind of an issue. Also, this is a, a feature ever since the beginning of the R18 is these quick release door latches. In case there would be some kind of problem with the door latch and the driver would be unable to get out through the normal means, he can actually pop these latches from the inside and push the door out of the way. Also, the marshals alongside the circuit, if there would be a need, can push these out of the way and release the door and have access to the driver quite quickly. Here we have, you know, something standard on a lot of closed cockpit cars is the tearaway system, you know, where we will have, I think, 12 or 13 tearaways when we start the race. Um, very difficult to apply to the windshield because optically there's a lot of curve, it's very convex and it's uh, quite difficult application to get these in the correct way. Obviously Audi's figured out how to do that and uh, to do a good job without uh, changing the optical quality on the car. Well up here, up here we have a, a, an array of things being you know, te you know telemetry, um, radio communication, tire pressure monitor communication, also you have a pedostatic tube. Any of you that have ever gotten on a small, a small airplane with a stairway out of it has probably seen one of these hanging out the side of the uh, fuselage of the airplane. Same situation here where it's a true airspeed measurement and uh, it, is, it is more accurate for the airspeed than actually the wheel speeds on the car because the wheel speeds on the car have slip and take various other factors into uh, into account. This is a true airspeed measurement that, that we use, the engineers use to, uh, to, uh, to analyze the data on the car. Well, that's a quick view of the 2014 Audi R18 e-tron Quattro. From the outside, it's a, it's a very innovative uh, prototype. It's our offering for this year for Le Mans. Uh, competition is quite high this year. There's a lot of different uh, uh, philosophies for how to use the hybrid. And uh, this is ours, and uh, we're hoping for a good result this year, and we hope we put a great show on for you.